Hi, my name is Shannon Kringen, and I'm an art model, and I'm trying to get my living room set up to be uh, a studio for online Zoom modeling for artists. And I'm just practicing right now to try to figure out how much of my background I need to clear away. So I'm going to move this. Maybe I should turn the fan off. Yeah, I'm turning the fan off because that's loud. I'm going to move stuff out of the way. I'm going to have to figure out. This is just a test video to see how much space is behind me. See, I can either have the webcam this way pointing at this wall to clear a studio space for me to model. Uh, this is amazingly great photographer named John in Seattle. Thank you, John. Gave me a 15-foot extension cord, USB cord for my smart, for my, sorry, for my webcam. So I could clear that and point my camera at this. I could pose like this, but it's hard. I'm so tall. I'm five foot eight and a half, which really isn't that tall, is it? Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out how far away my cam has to be for me to be fully in the frame. So this is what it looks like when my webcam is pointing. My PC is over there. And my high shelf, we'll call it, is right there. So this is a test to see what this looks like. This is just going to be a simple background with this fabric. I'll have a light shining on myself. It'll look better at night to get the whole me in the frame. But then if I do a Zoom modeling session with artists, I'll have to keep looking sideways to check my pose. So it might actually make more sense to have the cam over there. So let's just test this out. This is to get the whole me in the frame, although I'm so tall I can't go like this. Um, okay, so that's the whole me, except I have to keep checking my pose sideways. So I could try to set this up, and again, I'll make this all empty and clear and simple. Um, the other option, oh boy, this keeps getting tangled. I'm amazed that I can have a USB port for my webcam. Um, so the other option is to have the camera there pointing straight at that wall and then I would just put fabric, dark fabric on that wall and then I will move this out of the way. And then another wonderful fellow model named Shauna said that what I should do, thank you Shauna Holman. Shauna Holman is another uh, full-time art model here in Seattle. I think I'll probably do this because then I can look at the screen. So I guess I should clear this space to be my modeling studio. And Shauna had, this is too far away though. Yeah, I don't think I can duplicate what Shauna did. Let's see, um, because I don't want this to fall. So I guess I can't really do the mirror idea that Shauna had. Um, Cause I can't move, the problem is the wall is really far away. I can't move my computer. Um, I, I don't have a laptop. I have a desktop. And I cannot move. It's really annoying to me. I cannot move my computer very far away from the wall because I don't have very many outlets in this room. And I don't want a bunch of extension cords and power strips and really complicated things. So I think actually the mirror could be. See, there could be a mirror. Somewhere close to me, I could prop this mirror up somewhere so that artists can see two different angles of my pose. But the thing is, I have to be fully to get my full body in the shot. So what I need to do is clear all the furniture out of the way. Uh, I'm a very messy, clutter person. I'm not very organized. I'm very, um, for 28 years, I've been an art model modeling all over the place. It's exhausting and tiring, and I drive 20, 40, 60, 80 miles a day. Thanks to this medical emergency we're in now, I don't have to commute, but now I have to organize my one-bedroom apartment and turn it into a figure modeling art studio. I'm gonna adjust my boobs. There we go, boobs adjusted. Uh, as you can see, I don't shave my armpits, I don't shave my pubic hair. 
I like to be natural. I'm an art model and they don't really care if you shave or you're natural. So I'm natural. So there it is. Take it or leave it. So <laughs> here we go. So to get the full me in the frame, how far? Okay, I can't. My glasses are only good from, my glasses are good for close up, but I can't see far away very clear with these glasses. Okay, how far away? See, I'm really tall, so I can't go like that unless I'm about a mile away. I'm five foot eight and a half, so okay, that, that pretty much works. Um, so I guess the mirror would have to be to get the full me in the frame and the mirror. See, I would have to prop the mirror up on something because if the mirror was way back here against the wall, it would be too far away. So um, Shauna has a cool thing in the corner. She has her mirror, but she's in a smaller room than me. I cannot move my computer close to that wall because the cord will not reach. And I don't want to have a bunch of power strips and extension cords. That's too complicated. I already have enough electrical cords all over the place, and I don't want to be dangerous with electricity. So I'm just going to have to make do with what I have. So there, to get the full me in the frame, I have to stand this far away. And so do you, do you, hey guys, do you think that if I put a dark, I just cover the wall behind me with dark uh, fabric, and then I can take the couch and try to move it out of the way. Uh, or I could cover it in dark fabric. I was going to cover my floor in dark fabric. So why don't I work on that? So this is just a video that I'm going to upload. I'm Shannon Kringen, art model. I'm available for Zoom art modeling. As soon as I figure this technical thing out, I have this uh, tripod and light that I'm going to shine. The light seems to look better at night when I can close my blinds and then I shine this full spectrum plant grow light on me sideways to get dramatic shadows on me. And this light will be out of the frame. Um, so I'll get the dramatic shadows on my body and I will stand far away enough to do figure model poses. Uh, and then for people who hire me for portrait, I will, um, be close and I might actually wear a two piece. This is my one piece bathing suit. I also have a bright blue one piece bathing suit. I also have a few different bikinis, two piece bikinis uh, that I can model in so you can see my torso. I also have a full uh, bodysuit cotton that is white and one that is full body cotton uh, black and full body cotton flesh tone. So I have three body suits. Um, I have this bathing suit and a um, bright blue one-piece bathing suit. I also have, I think I have a bright blue bikini top and bottom to show the, you know, my hips and my torso basically as a figure model. Um, so I need to figure out how to get the full me in the frame to pose and see what kind of poses I can do in all directions. So this is my <laughs> rough video for today, and I'm going to just keep improving my situation here. Um, thank you for listening. This is Shannon Kringen. ShannonKringen.com is my website. Um, you can join my Patreon. You can leave questions and comments for me. You can, I hope you're doing well. I'm really stressed out, but I'm okay. Uh, I'm focused on health. I have all my windows open with fresh air blowing in. I'm burning sage and listening to Tori Amos, Native Invader. I love her. Her newest record is called Native Invader. It came out a few years ago. What was it, two years ago? 2017, 2018? I don't know. It, her most recent album is called Native Invader, and I love it. And I don't know how popular it is, but I think it's brilliant. Uh, a lot of her fans seem to like her old music better. I like her newer music. I like all Tori Amos' music because it's different over the years. I like that she keeps changing and evolving. I have a radio show called Goddess Crane where I sometimes play Tom Petty and Tori Amos. And I play their unusual songs, not their big hits, but their more unusual, obscure songs, which I would call Buried Treasure. Tom Petty had a radio show called Buried Treasure. 
And I resonate with that idea of playing music that is not as well known. Um, whether it's new or old, I don't care. But if it's good music, celebrate it. So thank you to all the musicians. I love Tom Petty and Tori Amos. Rest in peace, John Prine. You were amazingly magical uh, songwriter. And I got to see you at the Woodland Park Zoo last summer. It was a beautiful show. Rest in peace, John Prine. Uh, rest in peace, Tom Petty. You widened my jetty. And Tori Amos, I'm sorry your book tour got canceled uh, because of all this crazy medical emergency that we're in. And I hope you're going to write some really interesting song, new songs because of this new reality that we're in. Hope you're inspired by it. Thank you, Tori Amos, for your healing music. I painted shoes for you in 1996, and I was honored to meet you, and I love your music so much. It's so healing, unique, beautiful. Thank you for being your Tori Amos self. So, um, yeah, so this is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring, art model. I'm an artist and a model. Artist, model, artist, model. I do both. Okay. So, yay!